It's been such a great part of the experience. I have to admit, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but the truth is always a good thing. When I first went, I, I kind of thought it was just all these old guys, these kind of old boring guys who didn't have anything better to do. And I wasn't really interested in them. I was interested in the beautiful artwork. And, and uh, I got to be really good friends with all these guys and uh, they're, they're really wonderful people and their commitment is, is really awesome. They really, they commit so much of their time and their life energy and their experience and they're so willing to share that and they really don't get that much appreciation. I think most of us take it for granted, like as if it's their job and they are all volunteers. They don't get compensated for this. And they have this really interesting, because it's such an old festival, they have this kind of love for the present moment for what they're doing, for how it's working now. This great respect and love for the past, all the you know millions of people who have done this over the more than a thousand years so that we're still doing it now, you know, who've gifted us that. And then this great love for people in the future who are going to continue to carry this forward. So the, the intergenerational dimension of it is, it's not very often that you can study something that has this thousand year old fabric. And that's a, that's a, a beautiful thing. We, we're all in this crisis where we're seeking meaning and connection, and these people have a connection with, you know, a thousand years back, and and all the people who who were involved for that long, and and then that imagining that into the future or dreaming it into being, mm -hmm. and that's it's a really neat way to experience life.